from the diagram find out which drug acting on the letter mentioned as C that is which is a drug acting as a ligand for SV2A now let me explain the question this picture shows synthesis storage release metabolism and reuptake of bomb I have put A B C like that I put various letters now what they are asking which drug among the given four option acting on the letter mentioned C that mean which drug acting on here that mean acting as a ligand for SV2A now options are tiagabin levatin acetum vigabatrin well pervades the right answer for the question is option number two called levatin acetum that's the right answer why this the right answer why not others further we go for discussion look here first point GABA a incubatory neurotransmitter synthesized from glutamate with the help of glutamic acid decarboxylase so the enzyme involved in synthesis of GABA is glutamic acid decarboxylase once a GABA gets synthesized it gets stored here called storage after storage slowly the GABA get released it is called release once a GABA release it going to act on the two important receptors the two important receptors for GABA are number one GABA A receptor number two GABA B receptor the GABA A receptor activation opening chloride ionic channel so it is called as ligand gated receptor whereas GABA B is the G protein coupled receptor it's a GI subtype of G protein coupled receptor okay and the two more point given in the diagrams are the GABA undergoes metabolism by one enzyme called GABA transaminase and finally GABA from the synapse undergo reuptake reuptake this was given in the diagram now what we are going to discuss is what are all the drugs acting on letter A B C D like we will discuss first two point the drug acting on A that mean the drugs acting by inhibiting GABA transaminase the two most important GABA transaminase enzyme inhibitors are sodium valproate one more drug called vigabatrin both are GABA transaminase enzyme inhibitor the next point sodium valproate also having stimulatory action on glutamic acid decarboxylase that mean valproate promoting synthesis of GABA as well as preventing metabolism of GABA it has dual action valproate promotes synthesis by activating glutamic acid decarboxylase and inhibiting degradation of GABA by inhibiting GABA transaminase and then in the letter C levated acetum very important levated acetum a never anti epileptic agent it is a ligand for SV2A now look at me SV what is S what is V S means synapse synapse and V mean vesicle vesicle so our levator recitum acting on vesicle and modify synaptic release of GABA that means levator recitum modify release of GABA that is called ligand for SP2A and the last one drug acting on letter mentioned D that is the reuptake of GABA blocked by tiagabin so tiagabin a GABA analog acting by incubating reuptake of GABA so in summary in this slide you should know four important points the first point 
Edra, they are going to promote synthesis of GABA by activating glutamic acid decarboxylase sodium valproate. The two important drugs inhibiting GABA transaminase enzymes are sodium valproate and bigabatrin. And the synaptic release of GABA modified by levetiracetam and GABA reuptake blocked by tiagabin. After finishing all the A, B, C, D letters and drug name, I go for some extra point. This slide shows GABA analogs. Similarly, we have sold GABA analogs, for example, GABA pentane and pregabalin. The very, very, very important GABA analogs. Very important mean the GABA pentane and pregabalin are the most commonly used drug for treatment of diabetic neuropathy pain. And they are also useful for post herpetic neurology pain. So nowadays, for diabetic neuropathy pain mean the most commonly prescribed drugs are either pregabalin or gabapentin. Here extra one point, the gabapentin, a GABA analog, not only useful for treating neuropathy pain, it is also useful for profile axis of chronic migraine. That is gabapentin. And two more important GABA drugs we have on recall, Genaxalone. Genaxalone, actually speaking, a GABA analog, a neurosteroid useful for absent seizure and for catamenial seizure. And the latest point, we have one more GABA analog called Braxanalone. Braxanalone, a neighbor GABA agonist, it's also neurosteroid approved for treatment of postpartum depression. So, Braxanalone, a newer GABA agonist useful for treatment of postpartum depression. So, what I have mentioned in these two slides are various examples for GABA analog. Of course, you should know GABA, we know acting on GABA A and GABA B. The benzodiazepine barbiturates are acting via GABA A receptor. Whereas we have under called baclofen. Baclofen is a GABA B agonist. Remember, it's a GABA B agonist. The most important drug acting on GABA B means think of baclofen. It's a centrally acting skeletal muscle relaxant, useful for hiccup as well as useful to control craving of alcoholism. That is baclofen. Whereas Benzodiazepine, barbiturates, and Z compound like zolpidem, zopiclan, zelapalon, and various GABA analogs like sodium valproate, bigabatrin, tiagabin, levetiracetam, gabapentin, pregabalin, and braxanolone, genoxalone, all are acting via GABA A and opening chloride ionic channel. Darpanesis, various drugs acting via GABA A. Especially, we discuss in this cases various GABA analogs. That finishes this case.